I almost want Sheep to do the recap just because this was exactly what he hoped for the entire campaign. <laughs> well, Sheep, mm. you want to volunteer or should I roll um, for a recap? I, I can do the recap, sure. All right then, Sheep, what happened last session? Uh, last session, we decided to do things. Uh, right. Among the things <laughs> we did were finally trying to investigate the basement of the Harlequin's Flask. I'm not entirely sure what we did before that, but that doesn't matter anyways. <laughs> you, you interrogated Great me off a little bit. There was like so much discussion beforehand. But that's not really unusual, so... That's it was true. close without saying, I suppose. All right, does, does anyone have anything to add before you guys went to the basement and had your discovery? Well, yeah, uh, there was the whole thing with Lord Taraptus. That was kind of a big deal. Nah, I don't think so. <laughs> oh, yeah, before that, we decided to go mess up Ajax in Lord Taraptus' discussion room while they were discussing things, but we didn't get past the door or the secretary. And it all ended up in... We'll hear him failing his magics at least twice, probably more times. And Lord Raptor's being very angry, telling us that we are stupid. And and, and Ajax just flew away because Lord Raptor was scared that we would do something stupid, which, which we would have done. No, no, you would have never thought of even which, doing that. We totally would have done something stupid. <laughs> Oh, really? after, that, stupid. after that, at some point, we went to the Harlequin's Flask and basically were like, hey, we need to look at your basement. And the barkeep was like, yeah, sure, it's probably some dwarven custom that you want to sample the merchandise or whatever. Just, just go ahead. And so we went down while the barkeep stood at the entrance waiting and probably got some friends who waited with him and has probably gotten a lot more friends who still wait for us. You guys were down there for... 40 minutes at least before uh, before uh, Garak discovered the secret passageway. Thankfully, he was paying meticulous attention to putting his uh, fist through the wall. And in that secret passageway, we found what we were looking for, the, the prison of the Black Fang. Oh, I should probably have... I was about to tell you that the server was up, but then I realized I didn't actually host the server yet. I'm like, I'm like sitting here in the map, like, where is everyone? I'm sitting here thinking, <laughs> yeah, why, why, what have I got times. wrong with my information? I actually have the IP, by the way. Right. Sheep. I, I, How I, dare you? I you such connected a... to it in yeah, yeah, different we, 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 server. We, we didn't connect to the Manic <laughs> stuff. Dark Bot can send that individually instead of in the group chat, or also have the post-17 irrelevant comments in the Skype chat. I can link well, you to my... my... So. I, you know what I'll do? I'll send you the link to my little, little right. cutout. All right. Well, the server is hosted now. Let's pretend that. <laughs> you know, sheep, you can save this yourself and have it. Then you don't uh, have to ask anyone again. Uh, unless they change things just to mess up. Why do you need a literal screenshot of the information? So it's the it's easiest file. way. Yes, because, hey, hey, don't, don't, don't question what Manakai <laughs> finally did after 24 sessions. That's true. What was this? You can make it into a text file if you would rather do that. Like this was easy. Oh hi, Dark. You can make it. You can make a little button. You can yeah, click in Map do. Tools, and then it, it will display the information for you. Yes, because that's what I want you to do. <laughs> display the information. Well, for him, right? When when you, you, if if he whispers it to himself, yes. Otherwise, I'm gonna have to do video editing. I'll probably be angry because <laughs> I probably won't video edit. Yeah. Is the server up then? Yes, the server is online. Okay. Not connected. That... And just to things. finish off the recap that I started sometime in the last 10 minutes, while investigating, we eventually got attacked by actual Black Fang members, which <gasps> is amazing. And then we killed them all, and now we're there. So, yeah. All right, let me, uh, if I, can I like that power we kill them all. We normally get in off right inside the game. I, I was about to say that. Yes, well. well... Frameworks. Yes, well, I, I do like to run a tight ship uh, when it comes to uh, time wasting. And uh, today I have wasted all of your time. It's okay, we've been looking forward to this session. Sounds like all of us. Oh, that's something I didn't know. Which, which, <laughs> which justifies time wasting how? <laughs> well, sheep, sheep uh, to the practical heart you of know, the matter. You know, you have the...
you played roller coaster, right? Roller coaster. Too, what? Yeah. What? Roller coaster. Like the the guests have like sure. a happiness meter, which is composed of more than one other meter. So this is like us being on a really awesome ride. At the same time, we kind of want a burger, but overall, we're kind of happy. <laughs> <laughs> I. But you guys sure. are standing in line. But the <laughs> ride looks so amazing that you're yeah. willing to wait. Okay. Yeah. You know. All right. Uh, I'll, I'll accept that interpretation. <laughs> right. Sure. So, why not? At the, at the very end of last session, I know train. It's time for a party. Do, 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 do. So, uh, <laughs> at the end of last session, uh, you guys had just finished cleaning out the uh, the last of the group of Blackfang mooks who had come down here to uh, have their way with you. Their first intent not to kill, but uh, you can't imagine things could have gone well for you at all had uh, Team PC had been defeated, especially because you can't flee in this situation. Um, we're going to have a little time segment here. You folks have obviously needed to take a five-minute rest break, uh, so uh, perhaps you should not move too far ahead, or maybe, fuck, you, you guys might want to stay in place or gather together further in the back and take your rest break to, you know, properly use your recovery that you used at the end of last session. That begins now. We should go back to the prison. We should try to get some of the prisoners out, yeah. We should. I mean, we could leave them here, but... No. Surely there's a back entrance to this place. Yeah. We don't want to come in and find them all dead. Alright. You folks uh, congregate into the back to uh, have your rest period. If only, if only I hadn't botched those two fertility the, spells earlier. The, the, uh, the pillar hums with uh, eldritch power, having been aggravated earlier, and uh, is fully and firmly maintaining these door locks. Can I like, look around the corners of these little places here? Sure, you certainly can. The, oh. uh, the prison room leads off into two other rooms, the door in front of you, uh, more like a gated door, uh, actually has two levers. One on the left, and one on the right. One of them is incinerate cells, the other one is open, probably. They are both built into the wall, and it appears as if uh, to utilize them, you would just grab it and throw down the switch. What seems to be over here? Th that... Uh, like stone not, slab? Or? Yes, stone slabs. Uh, perhaps some sort of decorative features. You can't really tell from your angle, in part because Dvohir is not that tall, so he can't see what's on the top of the table. <laughs> <laughs> Jump. <laughs> Jump square. There don't, don't appear to be uh, documents on it so much as like etchings. Like Maybe they're like ritual like stone slabs of some kind. It's difficult to say in your current spot and with your current height. Aurelia, could you come take a look at this? Sure. I don't want to go alone. And, uh, well... I don't know in this kind of place before. Aurelia steps up. She has a little bit of a different look of her own. Uh, Aurelia peers inside. There does appear to be a master chair back there. And that has a box of ten levers. To the left and to the right. Five on each side looking similar to the two that are next to the door here. Uh, some light sources keeping the room dimly and, uh, dimly, you know, like, cozily lit, you know, having a cozy break. Uh, and, uh, these stone slabs, which, uh, Aurelia, seeing as how you utilize your five to try to learn more about these things, would know more that these would probably pertain to, like, ritual moments for the Black Fang, like, so we wish to propitiate the Draconic Gods. And by the Draconic Gods, I mean, some people worship the Three as gods, and the Three are more than happy to be worshipped as gods. But there are actual gods, you know, beyond that. You know, gods of all sorts of cozy things, like snuggling and bunnies. The Draconic God of snuggling and bunnies. Yes. yes. <laughs> and they're actually two gods. They're twins. <laughs> ah, I see. Yes. <laughs> and, you know, so for festivals or moments that the Black Fang might deem holy enough for a black celebration, then uh, they'll bring out the tables. Uh, it is not impossible for uh, captured prisoners to be sacrificed as such. 
Mm, how about it, these two rooms to the sides? Yeah, I would love to go explore them, but not alone. Yeah, that no, would be a alone. friendly room. That's the friendly room where you take the friendly mm. people who don't appreciate the god of snuggling and bunnies. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> don't need to ask too many questions about is that the, room. Is this a thing? Like a book of paper or something? Uh, it would be a set of papers, yes. We'll try not to look too much at these implements. So we'll go take a look at the papers. Those would be anatomical details for humans and dwarves and elves and gnomes and halflings. Just sort of in general? That would be a comprehensive sort of like schematic of here are pressure points on humanoid creatures. Let's leave them there. <laughs> the, guard, the, the guard might want to find them. A great wave of heat gusts around the corner. Oh, this oh. room would be the heating room mm. that uh, Aurelia reasoned out probably exists. Is it like a turn off switch? No. <laughs> Dwokirum looks around immediately for a turn off switch. There does not appear to be a switch that turns off the. Uh, the lava, effectively. Not lava, but uh, extremely hot. Probably sustained a bit by magic coals. Wonderful. So these two levers, you say, on either side of the door are unmarked. Yes, they are unmarked, yes. And that brings an end to your five minutes of quick resting. In which some people rested more than others. <laughs> I, I didn't lose any health, if I remember. Yes. I haven't I, 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 yeah, I know. I know. I mean, but, compared to what we usually do, just, just like walking around isn't really that much no, of a, no, it's not. Of a I mean, exercise. That's why I didn't complain. Except yeah. for the part where you think I might have complained. It's fine. Uh, so there's your analysis of the situation. Yes, those two levers are unmarked. Perhaps because who would ever have purpose for using them might know what they do. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That makes sense. To the south, uh, a voice calls out, I take you found your sister, Paladin. <sighs> this again? Who is it? And without my assistance, congratulations on your ingenuity. I must say, your direct approach was a bit of a surprise. You haven't answered my question. That would be correct. I was hoping that, given your ingenuity, you might be able to piece it together. After all, you did ask for my assistance. And I was being honest with you when I would have told you how you could have found your sister. Yeah, I... It, it's... From there, his eyes... Yeah, Garrick will sort of uh, motion to the others to follow him. Just stay away from that big lightning energy ridden. <sighs> Be careful. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna kill him. The, the uh, sounds are coming from uh, much further south. Uh, you do definitely hear uh, others in, or in basically in the form of like whispering to each other. They Why exactly are we trying, walking towards them? They might be them? trying to lure us in there. They seem to be successful. <laughs> well, it is so the Black Fang. Last time, we we, them, we might we? want. Well, we might want to save your sister first. You folks did spend quite a time down here, so I'm sure you're aware that you've attracted almost all of the attention. Well, if you stay down here any longer. Perhaps even Exilia will learn of your presence. And as much as I know you're looking for her, you don't want her to come here. So can we deactivate that goddamn thing there? Oh, shrugs and, and looks back to the gate where Leon went. Says he knows how, I think. Well, do it then. Oh, I'm sure you could try. Uh, part of the alert, however, comes from the fact that it was aggravated in your search. It wasn't a flawless examination of our basement. <laughs> what 
don't have all the time in the world. Can you deactivate it or not? I'm just doing the on. Uh, I'd assume that the easy way to deactivate it is in the room to the north. The easy way being first one of two levers and then ten. Ah, oh, screw this. Uh, Garrick will try to bust the door down again. No, not with the fucking one that you rolled last time. Uh, <laughs> Jesus. Gar Garrick would probably die of electrocution before he got this <laughs> door down. Well, it seems that there's nothing we can do but to abandon. Well, well. Yes. Mm. I mean, I do have resist energy repairs. <laughs> you don't exactly need to use a spell in order to utilize your magical background. The problem would be time, especially mm. after this thing has been thoroughly aggravated. Mm. You're not entirely sure how long it would take to go through the process of unweaving the magical enchantments, especially now that it's been pissed off. I mean, in an ideal world, if you did a bit of a rush job, you could maybe get it done in a half hour? You could make a roll then? If I had my spells, I would send a message to her. <laughs> but, uh, it probably could have been done easier, and, uh, you're not entirely sure, like, if there is a deactivation lever, whether it might work effectively or not. The, uh, Leon did, uh, scope it out and examine it, and the process did upset it. And, uh, it might have its own defensive measures. After all, this is a dedicated torture room. Almost like they made it so people couldn't flee. It's the standardized Black Fang seal of approval torture room. That's how she knows about it. <sighs> so, uh, what's the chance? There's probably not a secret way in here, yeah? I mean, another one? I mean, at least I as a player would assume that a place like this probably has another exit, because... Why wouldn't you want another exit? Then again, looking at the architects of this world in terms of secret hideouts, uh, Domino, I don't know anymore. <laughs> he draw. wasn't a very good, yeah. He wasn't a very uh, good architect, and neither was he actually. I think the Black Fang had better architects than them. Uh, that said, uh, right now we can't get in here. So even if there was a secret door, it's going to be in that room, right? So even yeah. if there was a secret person walking in there, we could do nothing except watch these people burn. We might as well charge out, like smash them, and then get the help of the city. Like alert, alarm the guards basically as soon as possible, right? Yeah, I think that's the best course of action. We don't know what those levers do, and we don't really know how to get through the doors. And you would hate to pull one randomly and then burn your sister, I think. Yeah. That would not be... Uh, Aurelia would consider that as a possibility that the one of the levers, or actually, come to think of it, there's eight cells, there's ten levers inside there. They might have correspond <laughs> to uh, activating <laughs> the pipes. Yeah. yeah. That would not. That would not. Be. So, should we just go down and... Uh, you might better walk first, correct? Yeah, Garak will first sort of try to explain the situation to uh, his sister that if they they can't really deactivate this whole thing in the middle and if they try to do it, it might cause a uh, death trap to trigger and basically burn us all. She'll trust you. What did she have in there? Hmm? Anything? <laughs> She's chained to the floor. Oh, chained, right. Look at the bitch. Would have given her blankets or something to. Yeah. Uh, can she move her hands? Uh, she can move them a little bit. Uh, if she like stretches out towards you and you stretch out to her, you could probably give her something. But uh, you can't right. exactly fit. You know, you couldn't say fit the ancestral helmet through the bar. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't really my plan. Uh, <laughs> uh, Garrick will give her his uh, water skin. Okay. Uh, she will take it from you and uh, drink greedily. Yeah, and also some uh, some rations he has in his backpack. Okay, she'll uh, take those as well. Right. Although she'll look at you and say, I hope that I won't be in here long enough to need all of this. I promise you that you won't. We'll be back uh, as soon as we can. She nods resolutely. Guess we're prepared to move through here. Let's do this quickly then. Good. Just don't... 
There's still no one here. <laughs> <laughs> uh, are there any any like sounds? Uh, I guess he stopped talking, but there still might be like footsteps and stuff. Uh, you can go ahead and take a listen, if you'd like. With a uh, sure. listening skill check, you can go ahead and make that out in the open. Uh, what's my level? It's that much. Uh, my wisdom is... Actually, my wisdom changed, so uh, my wisdom is that much. Uh, no, no footsteps. Uh, no whispering, either. I assume the clanking of Garak sort of deafens the... Yeah. <laughs> it, uh, it certainly does echo. I didn't hear any intention to, say, no, sorry, sorry, to uh, move silently. Uh, you hear from down here. So, perhaps you'd like to parlay yourselves out of this situation. You would like to... What do you offer? Well, it's not along the lines of me offering as what you can do for me. And right now, your biggest profit from me is putting you in prison there and then getting a promotion from Exilia. I would like that. I might even become more powerful than Ezekiel. So, you did just sell me falsehood then? Sell you falsehood? No, not at all. I gave you a legitimate answer. Victory at Largasso Field does not lie. All right, you can stop moving now. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> the dwarf paladin peeks around the corner, and the hallway is full of things and stuff. Let me give you a visual description of what things and stuff mean. This guy would be the <coughs> most poignant. He's wearing full plate. And he's got a dire flail in his hands. He actually looks the best armored out of the lot, probably even rivaling your character. Protection. Then we've got this gentleman here. He doesn't have a weapon equipped, but he has fangs and claws. And his eyes have narrowed and they've got a red hue to them. Then you have these two lovely ladies back here who have silver great swords and longbows. And you've got this gentleman back here, who's got a, not a staff, but magical chains that are weaving around his body. And then, leaning against the back, not particularly well armored, are the glowing eyes of an individual known as Blue Eyes. How about that? And, uh, well, you put yourself there. They look at you. You're not surprised. They're not surprised. They don't immediately move to attack you. Would you like to get combat started? Or you want to talk? Not immediately, no. Okay. Yeah, we sort of wait for the others to catch up and uh, just stare down at them for now, okay. basically. You know, I'm, I'm pretty happy here. Yeah? <laughs> you know, I don't really want to get in the line of... But, you know... Talk, then... Do you really think I would parley with you after what you did? You know, you knew that my sister was down here. Yes, I did. And I was trying to sell that information to you, as I am wont to do. Information broker, you understand. <laughs> Things in life don't come for free, but you managed to find her anyway without paying the price. Like I said, congratulations. And what would you need to just slip on out of here? Outside with anybody. Just go about your way. This is gonna get ugly one way or another. Yeah. You see, right now, I do think I hold the position of advantage. You know, I'm number three in the list of the people in the, the Lodge of Newport handle a few affairs here and there, but I don't get the best access to information, nor the most recognition. And you four, at the moment, seem the best way for me to get all the attention and luxury I require. 
How about this, then? You tell us who your superiors are, and then you just disappear. You can do that, I'm sure. Then we take care of your superiors, and then you will be the top one. The problem with that is that right now I do still think I'm in an advantageous position. You have been down here for some time, and while your approach was not expected, you are still outnumbered. So what would you suggest us do then? Well, I suppose I'd like to hear ideas for why we don't just take you and throw you into the cells. I'm a businessman at heart. I'm listening. Aurelia, you hear sounds coming from this rubble room. He's stalling. Yeah. Aurelia will whisper to, to Dvohirim that we will be surrounded very quickly if you keep talking here. Well, I guess it's time to go to battle then. Okay. Yep. Battle time. Dick, 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 Come on, high initiative, I need it. <laughs> <laughs> I should have got that damn scroll or whatever. It is okay. we have. You guys can go ahead and uh, put yourselves <laughs> in initiative land. Oh, not bad. Come on. Oh, hello. Oh, that is good. That is good. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, they're not uh, the best or the most interested or angled in directly killing you. Though if you did die, they wouldn't be upset about it. It would be really sad. Yeah. Their, uh, their goal is to capture you and uh, throw you into prison. We got no flight here either. Yeah. Yes, no flight. Basically, your way out would be through them. Yep. Okay. Uh, Go ahead and roll some initiatives. We've got Colrin here. We've got besides him, I'm sure I know what the uh, what the campaign loss would be. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Let's, uh, we've got sure Preston, I do as well. We've got Blue Eyes. Aurelia, you will need to block them here. And then we've I got... We might be able to do that those and they can have their own initiative tracker oh, yeah, so strange. separate ones and now after rolling all those initiatives for whatever reason my map tool has frozen oh. there we go Hooray. I, I unfroze it <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> okay this takes up us to Dwo Hiram going first yes. <laughs> Now, uh, now, now, crying you, and happiness. You do have a vision problem in that you can't see any yes, of them. Yes, I will move to see people. Okay. Yes. Um. Now well, it is a wizard. I don't like fighting wizards because they usually might have a counter spell. And stuff. Yes, exactly. They have always that. But you know, it's almost too good of a chance to. I have two options. I have a lot of damage, or I have potentially hampering everybody, or some of them anyway. But I guess the damage would be preferable. I mean, hampering a lot is Can you also very good. Um, it'd be the first time I've used the spell actually, uh, which is why I'm not entirely entirely sure. It would be one d four enemies in a group. I could reckless it to get plus one d three. It's uh, also worth noting since now we are in combat that you folks will end up feeling the weight of this, as this was a precast spell. Um, Ethan there, the uh, high uh, cleric individual, uh, is radiating uh, quite a bit of power on his part, to uh, enough to affect uh, Dwo Hiram and Leon, but not Garak, with what's called the Crisis of Fate. Dwo Hiram and Leon have a minus five to their mental defense so long as they are near him. And if you miss with an attack, you take ten holy damage. That's terrible. Oh, mm -hmm, that's pretty terrible. Uh, so we need to take him out. Yeah, but but I like this opening move could be very important uh, potentially. I mean, not every wizard can have. Um, so this would do less damage because I can't empower it. Um, but but it if. If I hit, they're also hampered to my next yeah, turn. Yeah, I would go for the yeah. hampering because, yeah, first of all, doing a lot that of them in round one... Just basic one, attacks. Yeah, the, yeah, doing that in round, round one would be good. And if it gets counterspelled, I don't think it would be as bad as counterspelling a lightning bolt. 
Yeah, I think you right. should reckless it as well. Yeah, but there's no reason not to. Yeah. All right, well, I guess we'll try the new cool attack. Move sort of in here, looking down, and then... Uh, he will use his uh, spell to cast Denial. Right. One target. One target? Or oh, which one well, target would you like to let's pass? Let's roll a d3 for the Reckless. Uh, with my with power channeling the power of my wand. Yes. Yeah. Two targets. One. God damn it. All right. Which two <laughs> targets would you like to pass? Um, well, that's less than optimal. <laughs> yeah. They, they, they are certainly all clumped together in the same uh, space. Yeah. I suppose, like, the magic users would make sense. But they probably have a high mental defense. That's true. They that does can. tend to happen with magic users. Mm -hmm. But getting him hampered basically makes him useless. All right, sure. I, so, I, I, I yeah, think so. Oh, yeah, we'll go for those two then. I don't want to take all the time in the world. All right then. Did I roll an attack roll in it? I did not. So no. I'll try to hit macro. So to, let me this know is which against one the, uh, okay. the blue guy. <laughs> All right. That Seven is not a hit against that's, his mental defense. That's half damage then, and then the uh, the old old bearded man will we'll take an eight. Uh, let me go ahead. Uh, no, Probably miss as well. Yeah. Amusingly enough, that hits him. <laughs> oh, oh, good. <laughs> he takes full damage and is hampered. For one turn. In addition to our hero, take 10 points of damage from missing. I do. He sure does. Yeah. As uh, Rohirrim experiences a crisis <coughs> of faith, as if the gods themselves are uh, perhaps weighing against you in this fight. Uh, it feels bad. Move in standard action. You have a quick action you want to use? Um, no. Not yet. Blue Good. eyes? Leans back against the wall, not doing a thing other than watching you. He's too cool, huh? <laughs> mm. Well, good. Yeah, yeah. See, that's a one move action, and then the other move action will take them to here as two lich hounds come flying around the corner, both to engage Aurelia. Let's see here. What would he do? Yeah, that's pretty free. Let's see, what does he think would be the most effective here in this situation? He does have a menacing dire flail, but he's looking over there, Garak, and you know, he's considering it, and that's probably not the best thing to use on him. And so, uh, Athan, the one wielding the clerical powers, will conjure up a javelin of faith and fling it at the dwarf paladin. That will be a miss. Yep. Good. Hmm. Then, uh, thinking over the situation, he'll actually... What would he do? He'll actually look the paladin square in the eyes, and he'll, like, step over here a bit and gesture for the paladin to come get him. Oh, That's I'm the gonna end of his get... turn. Oh, yes, I am. This is probably a trap, but fuck it. <laughs> Move up to engage. Um, no, actually, first quick action to use my elemental oil that okay. I got. Your holy elemental oil. Yeah, and okay. I don't have a macro for that or anything, so I... No, uh, it, uh, it doesn't add any extra damage, just uh, your weapon now deals holy damage. Oh, uh, mm. probably not going to use that then. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I if you were also... to fight these lich hounds at some point, that might help, but, yeah, but that's unlikely, might, really. It might not even do damage to... Uh, it might, but I don't know if uh, he is resistant to holy damage, the uh, cleric guy. I don't might know use if it later. can be. Might use it later then. Or, yeah, what? Yeah, whatever. I'm gonna just engage him then and attack him. Okay. Uh, I know, I'm also gonna use a smite evil on him. Alright. Your daily usage of smite evil. Uh, not your daily well, no, usage, it's, your battle it's the, usage. Yes, and yeah. then you have one more daily usage. Uh, that will manage to get through his uh, incredibly thick full plate and uh, yep. deal full damage to him. All right, and also challenge. Okay, he has been uh, challenged and he is staggered. 
Uh, he yep. blinks in surprise, not actually expecting your attack to uh, harm him. You no, know, armor doesn't protect us well against blunt force. Perhaps not. 